Hey, what's up guys? Node Investor here. Got a quick update for you guys on the market, but I also want to share a couple of setups that I'm looking at for this week. So let's take a quick look at the market first. Things are moving fast right now. Bitcoin, 1371. Coinbase has it over 1400. So depending on which exchange you're looking at, but uh, marching along quite nicely. Ethereum. Ethereum's the one that's really moving fast right now. Um, $81. I think Coinbase had it at $86 earlier tonight, so just really strong going straight up. There's a lot of news on it right now. Um, things are getting excited. Uh, Ripple, Ripple pretty strong. Litecoin, Litecoin is one I'm going to talk about here in a minute. It's, um, almost $16, market cap at $800 million. I think uh, we're going to approach a billion, maybe a little bit more if that happens. You'll see Litecoin, uh, you know, $19, $20 range here. If, in the near term dash pretty strong dash at ninety three dollars bumping into that hundred dollar range we were talking about but um, you know had a pretty nice move in the last couple of days ethereum classic again just like ethereum really strong having a strong leg up these last couple of days um, it was 250 not too long ago guys so to see it come up this high is quite surprising on ethereum classic um, we'll talk about nem later Monero. Monero is the one I'm going to talk about tonight as well. Uh, so Monero right now market cap at $340 million, price at $23. Um, and it's moving up nicely. If you're not familiar with Monero, uh, Monero is one of those privacy anonymity coins, one of the top ones. Uh, there's a few of them out there. Dash is one of them. It's kind of a hybrid. Monero, Zcash, uh, Pivx is trying to market itself as that as well. So there's a few of them out there, but Monero is one of the uh, one of the bigger ones, if you will. So let's look at some of the charts here. Uh, let's talk Litecoin first. So Litecoin is one I'm going to keep an eye on this week. It looks like it's setting up. Um, had the big run up from the $12 range up into this $15, $16 range. This is a Poloniex USDT translation here, but um, if we look at this pair. Kind of just sat tight after this for the last couple of days. Um, they tried to sell it off here a few days ago. Big volume came in. That's a good sign. That means a uh, buyer stepped in, pushed the price right back up, and then it just started to kind of edge up a little bit here. Moving averages are catching up, and it's getting real quiet, kind of forming this handle. See the volume kind of trickling down here. That's a pretty good sign it's setting up. If it does want to break out, the area to look at here is this... 17 and a half dollar mark here on uh, on this exchange and uh, we'll see it pop up here let's take a look at another chart uh, this is the bitfinex this one has it at 17 dollars here and um, on the poloniex here i've got it highlighted for you so you can kind of see the the range that i'm talking about right so we had this stair set move after the big pop up kind of based out had another big pop and uh, looks like it's sitting tight here. Uh, we might see another leg up. If we do, like I said, we'll probably see it in the $19, $20 range, uh, possibly higher depending on the exchange you're looking at. Uh, but one to keep an eye on this week, guys. I think uh, Litecoin is overall news is pretty good on that one and uh, keep an eye on that one. Monero. So let's talk Monero. Monero is one I'm really liking this week. Um, had the big uh, warning shot, if you will, uh, to the upside after sitting tight and getting real quiet here for most of April. It's just kind of been sitting tight. Ethereum, Bitcoin, I've been making all the big news lately. Uh, Monero's just been sitting real tight. And we had this big pop a few days ago, wanting to go up a little bit here, sitting around the $23, $24 mark. Uh, this one looks like it wants to move. So one to keep an eye on. It's probably buyable now with uh, with the big pop we saw. But if you want to wait to be sure, um, edging out over this $24, $25 mark at that point, we'll probably have, a, have a, another leg up on Monero. Um, if we look at Poloniex, here I'm pointing at the arrow where I'm seeing a little bit of a breakout. And you're already seeing it kind of edging out here. If we go back to coin market cap, you can see Monero, $340 billion. I mean, 340 million, excuse me, 340 million dollars. And in a market, we're starting to talk billions pretty regularly. Um, 300 million just doesn't sound like a lot anymore. 
And so I'm thinking, you know, if uh, the sentiment in these top four or five continue as they do, um, we'll see Monero just kind of pulled up with the others. If that happens, you know, we could see $500 million market cap. You know, you'll be seeing Monero at $30 plus dollars at that point. So one I'm keeping an eye on. Um, that's just strictly looking at the technicals. I've done a little bit of research on all of these, so I, I know the, the technical um, background and the marketing and the leadership behind these, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. I just kind of want to point out some of the charts. Um, one to keep an eye on, Monero. The other one I'm watching this week, Litecoin. And of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum just continue to move up. Uh, you can see Bitcoin pretty strong there, Ethereum really strong there um, but you know we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves I, I, I had a expected to see us to move up after this breakout I thought we'd see $75 pretty quickly we have but we shot right past that um, we'll see how high it goes when things get exciting they can go up pretty fast before they decide to pull back um, how high it goes no one really knows uh, so just keep an eye on things I'll keep you guys posted should be an exciting week. Until next time, take care.